RAM is one of the easiest upgrades that you can do for your computer. Compatibility-wise, relatively simple. Wala ka masyadong problemahin. Except for the DDR, kung anong DDR compatible sa motherboard mo. And they're straightforward, easy to install. Pero... But you do need to worry about yung max speed ng RAM at kung kaya ba ng CPU mo and ng motherboard. Magkahiwala yun. Your motherboard might be able or might support the fast RAM speed, pero kaya ba ng CPU mo? Pero bago natin pag-usapan yun, the RAM that we're using for today's video is T-Force Vulkan DDR5. 5,600MHz to and 2x16. So this is 32GB of RAM. CL36 to. Yung other other RAMs that you've seen average niya mga CL40. If you're coming from DDR4, the speeds that you're used to mga 3600 MHz, 3200 MHz. For DDR5, the speeds that we're seeing that are available, eh mga ganito, 56, 6000, yan yung average ng mga DDR5 speeds ngayon. Physically, yung Vulkan wala namang RGB, but the red heatsink is attractive, a little shiny, feels premium. Interestingly, it's even lower than a corresponding DDR4 RAM. Itong si Vulkan, hindi naman siya build as low profile, pero ganun na rin yung dating. If you notice the height of this DDR4 RAM, this is also from Team Group, pero ibang line, Dark Z8 to. Tapos, ipatong natin yung Vulkan 5. Mga two-thirds lang ng Vulkan yung Dark ZA. So it is lower. If you're planning on upgrading to DDR5 pero kinakabahan ka na ay baka DDR5 mas bago, baka mas malaki. Because everything now, pag-upgrade mo, mas malaki na siya. Pero hindi naman ganun. Actually, yung DDR5 RAM, and at least in this case, mas maiksi pa nga or mas malit pa nga siya compared to the DDR4 RAM. So there are two speeds that you need to worry about for RAM compatibility. Yung max speed na kaya ng CPU and yung max speed of RAM na kaya ng motherboard. Pero sa totoo lang, isa lang yung kailangan mong tutukan and that's the max speed of RAM compatible ng motherboard. Can you disregard the max compatible RAM speed of the CPU? Pretty much. For example, itong latest i5-13600K, nakalagay na max DDR5 speed niya is only 5,600 mega transfers per second. What if my RAM is 6,000 megahertz, like the faster version of the T-Force Vulkan which we showed earlier? Gagana pa ba siya? Most of the time, yes. The compatible RAM speeds specified by CPU manufacturers are the very safe speeds. And basically, everyone ignores them. Since most RAM is overclocked past the base speed anyway without any issue. You might want to consider the max memory size na kaya ng CPU in this case again, with the 13600K, that's 128GB. But para sa karamihan ng mga rigs, kahit yung mga performance rigs na inaassemble namin sa Hardware Sugar, you're never going to use this much RAM. So basically, lahat ng nakita mong RAM speeds, overclocked yun. All of the RAMs that you see, 3600MHz, 5600, 6000, lahat yun, tumatagbo beyond the recommended speeds. But everybody does it. Kumbaga, standard practice na siya na i-overclock yung RAM. So basically, di mo kailangan problemahin ano yung max speed of RAM na kaya ng CPU mo. What you do need to worry about is the max RAM speed na kaya ng motherboard mo. Yun, totoo talaga yun. Hindi ka makalampas dun. So let's say yung RAM mo nga 5,600 MHz, but yung motherboard mo kaya lang 5,000 MHz. Okay lang, walang problema. Pero, tatakbo lang yung RAM up to the max speed na kaya ng motherboard. Sa example natin, 5,000 MHz. Nasayang lang yung extra na binayaran mo for that extra 600 MHz. Hindi talaga siya magagamit. Yung general rule is that the system will default to the slowest speed. So, in this case, yun nga, masabilis yung RAM mo, but the speed supported by the motherboard is slower, your system will run at the slower speed supported by the motherboard. What happens if dalawang types of RAM magkaibang speed? 
So let's say si motherboard kaya niya 4,000 megahertz of RAM speed. And then yung isang stick, 3,200 megahertz. Yung isang stick, 3,600. Walang problema yun. The system will run most of the time. Pero yung max speed na kaya ng RAM is 3,200. Yun nga, sunod tayo sa general rule that the system will default to the slowest speed possible. And in that case, it's 3,200 megahertz. So, to make a long story short, medyo madali naman talaga yung RAM. It's just na you do need to check ano yung max na compatible na speed ng motherboard para hindi sa yung pera mo. Bakit ka gagastos nung para sa mas mahal, mas abilis na RAM kung yung gamit mo naman ng motherboard, hindi naman supported yung speeds na yun. We do get asked a lot, eh pero sir, paano yung CPU ko, yung max speed na nakalagay ganito lang? It's really, you can kinda ignore that nakalagay lang yon for the CPU manufacturers to say na okay hanggang dito lang yun ah and if you do something beyond that labas na kami doon wala na kami sa usapan but yun nga overclocking either via XMP or some other thing is very common if you have other questions about RAM we do have a full video on different RAM types paano bumili ng RAM and it's also part of our Biblica 2022 video thanks for watching Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.